All right, break out the crayon silicone molds. We are making some fun stuff. Local maker Amy, uh, Amy Revs Fury is here to not just melt crowns, but melt the hearts of some Star Wars fans. I love it. Like I me. love it. I am so anxious because we've got number one. Can, can we show these real fast? We have um, some, some X Wing molds. Millennium Falcon. And we have the Millennium Falcon molds. Guys, I'm probably not going to be available for the rest of the show because I'm going to be playing <laughs> with these. So, all right. Well, what? How do we start? Are these projects easy enough for my kids to do? Because yeah. basically, we're using old crowns, right? Yes. And I wanted to say that first of all, like you think you have to throw away the broken ones, but mm -hmm. there is a lot of use left in those broken crayons. And I thought I had a lot of <laughs> used crowns. <laughs> There's, there's like two gallons of used crowns. Well, here. and you haven't even seen oh, like my pre-prepared. Yeah, you're even um, color coordinated. That's I amazing. have, I have. So <laughs> these are the things that the kids can do because I will say, obviously, you have to melt the crayons, yes. and I don't want anyone to get hurt. Mm -mm. And you know, like you know what skill set your kid has and what's appropriate for them to do. Okay. Um, my daughter, the first step is to take the wrapping off, which I don't find fun at all. But no. my seven-year-old daughter Emma, my she loves, daughter loves, she to, loves do that to do it anyway, and we yell at her constantly. I don't know. Get on the floor. So I this know. Is the perfect time for her. So to do I it. found that doing um, a swipe, you know, like a little slit on the side with tweezers, makes it very easy. And Emma, do, she sits and watches TV and does it. And another thing that Emma loves to do is to color coordinate. So if you didn't see that at home, she just took the tweezers, mm -hmm. went right down the the center of it, and then it kind of came apart real easy there. Yes. So Emma, another you know another great activity for kids and for learning is to color coordinate and to put um, all the colors you know with the like crayons. Mm -hmm. um, I like you know you can see that I like the rainbow. Oh, Anyone yeah. who saw me here Very last time knows that I love bright colors <laughs> and I'm not afraid of colors. Yeah. Right. So um, I what I do is I take a pouch that's double lined. I was doing it in Ziploc bags, but oh, I, I bet they quickly them. yes I quickly <laughs> broke my Ziploc bags. And I, um, another thing that the kids love to do is hit it with a hammer. Oh, yeah. And break it into tiny little pieces. Perfect. So I want you, you know, play around. You okay. can do either one or both. And um, you can put it in whatever design you want. All right. I okay. love to sprinkle something, even if you were going to do a, a full color. Um, like this one I did primarily gray. But I always love to add like a little confetti-ish yeah. on the bottom. And then you can cover it with whatever colors. You're going to put it in a microwave, a confection oven, or the regular oven for, I mean, I would do increments of five minutes and mm -hmm. come back and check every five. Um, if you are lucky enough to have some way to go out and, and do it outside, I would. Well, our meteorologist said it's going to be almost 90 <laughs> degrees today, so you can probably just take them out in the backyard. Yeah, but if you have like a, a spare microwave that you pick sure. up at an estate sale, or you can take it outside and do it, it does get kind of fumey. <laughs> so kids don't use the brand new stainless steel right, microwave Exactly, in exactly. Your this is too pretty to use. <laughs> but I pop it in. Again, this is where the parental help will come. This is the part you have to do. I know that's okay. super fun, but if you think that's fun... I'm having fun. Okay, this part is super fun. Okay. I. I did this last night, but you would do it, you know, you let it heat up, okay. and then you wait for it to cool, and then you pop it out. And it feels like a present every time I pop it out. Okay, so just... Yeah. Right. Now, these are unicorns here. These aren't Star Wars. Are they Star Wars unicorns? They're just unicorns, We can but come say on. they're Star Wars unicorns. Make your George own magic. Come on. Um, All right. Get out of there. Now, do you spray anything in there to help help it pop I out? I don't, but you could. I, I guess mean, they're just wax anyway. Let me see. I oh, haven't look, even look, seen look. it. We, got, we have TIE Fighters and Darth Vader yep. and a Stormtrooper. All sorts of great stuff. So look, I mean, every time I do it, it's a total surprise. I never know how it's going to come out, mm -hmm. and um, it's great. And real quick, where's the, where's the spot in Kansas City that you found best to get your stuff for uh, your your crafts? Scraps KC is my number one spot for buying all of these supplies. They take surplus, discarded, recycled materials. Mm -hmm. um, they spark my creativity. They are saving the environment by doing it, by keeping stuff out of landfills and giving hope to the homeless who are um, not only sorting the materials, but the money that they raise goes to oh, really? serve homeless men and women in Kansas City. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, well, thank so you for coming on some today. I really oh appreciate gosh, it. Yeah. And I can't wait to go home. I'm going to go home and watch Return of the Jedi today, I think. I'll so. send you home with some crayons so you can play with your yes. kids. It's going to be great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Belinda?